is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 3rd of May, wrapping up the first uh, part of uh, the first week of May. Uh, we're looking at the Dow 483. Uh, I guess the economic results were deemed uh, very, very uh, successful in terms of looking at, I, I don't know, they seem to me a little bit mixed, but anyway, they read the jobless numbers, etc., cetera, uh, in, the, in a very positive way. Look, you've got the Dow 466 at 38,691. <clears throat> the nine-period moving average is very close to turning positive, but it hasn't yet. <clears throat> That's going to be quite important. The S&P at this particular moment is up. Uh, also, now, so the Dow's up 1.2%. The S&P is up 1.2%, up 61 at 51.25. Started a leg C, but this leg C is not very much higher than the previous peak D. So this is a work in progress, and the nine-period moving average is close, but it hasn't yet turned positive. I suspect it's going to try. I'll be talking about these weekly charts because it is really important looking at the certain indicators that I think are really key to this particular move. And you've got the IWM, the Russell 2000, breaking out very nicely. Um, it's up three. It's up 1.5 percent at 202.83. Now, what's really good about this, remember we were talking about this yesterday, saying, wow, this is one of the few that has the chance of having that nine period moving average finally cross positive. Well, the day is young. We're not even 30-something, uh, five minutes into this session, and you've got the nine-period moving average crossing positive. But the day is young, but it's a very nice action. I'll talk about that weekly chart while I think it's so positive. QQQ, NDX 100, also a nice spike to the upside, up 1.8%. Up 7.8 at 434.78, getting to that very ugly bar of April. Woof, that was a horrible red candle. So this is a leg C, and I'll talk about that weekly chart when we get back for the Tiger Technicians out. We have to talk about gold. Gold is down four at 2304. Uh, it's that nine period moving average turned negative, and it's having a tough time. Uh, the high was 2330. But here's the real story. What is the story? Bonds. Bonds are up 25, 30 seconds. They were up a lot more. They went right to a Fibonacci re repellent line. And we're going to be watching this very closely all day because this is the start of a potential turnaround in the yields so that yields can finally come down. Basil Chapman, Tiger Conditions Hour. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. 